Hey guys, today we're going to start working with a new software that will help us understand the design in 3D. With this software we're going to be uh, making pieces, solid pieces in three dimensions. Uh, it's called Dilmia. Uh, <coughs> let's start by getting to know uh, this program. We're going to check we're gonna see the star option here please click on it and uh, we're gonna look for mechanical design and then part design here we need to enter the name of the piece we can put piece one so this is the interface that we need for making a, a piece in this screen you can see a little figure in the center in this figure we have different planes that represent the combination of edges in this case uh, here I am on the plane it's white as you can see it's color blue here is white Z the plane white Z uh, it's also color blue because I'm selecting it and the last one is Z at plane. So here we have different planes, so we can figure out which one is more helpful for a specific design. If you ask me which one is better, there's no an easy answer for that because it's not like someone is better for for a specific design but with practice you can realize which one suits better uh, for a specific drawings this along the time you will know which one is more helpful for your designs in my case i usually use this one that is the it's white plane we're gonna click on it and we're gonna click on this icon that is a white sheet on a pen this icon is, uh, or this tool is called Sketch. With this icon, we're gonna enter another interface. In this interface, we're gonna see different options to make the drawings. We can, we can make lines, figures to make the drawing, and later, by exiting this this option, we can make modifications to the salt piece so just remember this is the main interface where we could say that 80% of the design is made in this in this place so let's start by getting to know this platform so people we're gonna make something uh, easy let's start by putting a circle a simple circle uh, this circle I took it from this toolbar on the right, I click on it and click on the screen. I'm gonna do it again for you to see. I go to the toolbar and here we can find different options uh, for tools. Click on, on the circle and click on the screen. As you can see the circle gets bigger or smaller depending on the movements of the of the mouse when I click again the the size is fixed uh, in this case we don't know which size this circle has we need to give it and uh, we need to click on it and then click on constraint option on the toolbar on the right this option helps us to know the measure of different things lines figures even angles so this diameter is 84.27 when you add a constraint to a figure you cannot modify the size of the of the figure by moving it only you can modify it by changing the value of the measure in this case the diameter is 84 we can put 50 here 
and the size changes. So, this is something basic. Uh, let's start by give it a shape, a solid, a solid shape to this circle. We're gonna exit here the workbench or the sketch, and we come back to the interface. Here we can modify the designs by making it solid or making modification to solid pieces. In this case we're gonna give it a solid body to this simple circle. So by clicking on this option, this tool called Path, as you can see here is the representation of the final, uh, of the final piece. This is the thickness. In this case I have 20 millimeters. Mm, let's click on it. Okay. Now the circle has became uh, has become sorry a cylinder. It has a solid a body. And by now, by having this piece, we're gonna learn some basic and uh, basic hacks, let's call it that way, with the mouse for you to visualize in a better way your piece that you're working with. The first one, the number one, is uh, the scroll, the scroll wheel. You click on it and without releasing it, only keep and press the, the scroll wheel. You can move your mouse and you will move your piece across all the screen, all the space of the screen. You release this uh, scroll wheel and the piece fits in the position you left it. Uh, the second trick is click the scroll wheel and left click once. As you can see the, uh, the arrow it's, it's a different symbol. If you move your mouse, if you move it up, you will zoom in. If you move your mouse down, it will zoom out. So in this way you can see the piece from a, from a different distance. But remember, this is only by keeping press the scroll wheel. If I release it, I lose the the control of the distance respect to the to the piece and the last trick is press the, the scroll wheel one click it can be a left click or right click by keeping press the left click or right click and the scroll wheel both at the same time you can move the piece and at any direction to see from different perspectives as you can see here okay guys let's continue with something different now here I have um, a small cylinder that is based on a circle so in this case we're gonna keep working with this piece uh, we can select a face of this figure to keep working. In this case, I will click to select this face of the of this figure, and I will click on the sketch again. Why? Because I'd like to do something else to this figure. In this case, I will add another circle uh, of any size. I will give it a certain measure, 20, no, it's here, 20, okay, and then we can exit the workbench. Once we are here in this interface, we can make a solid uh, structure of that circle. We can add, we can change here the value, maybe 30, 
millimeters okay and the piece has taken another shape we can take another face of the figure let's suppose we're gonna be working with this uh, with this part of the of the piece A sketch again let's suppose now another circle circle a little bigger than the one that it's already there exit the workbench let's give a path to this and click in OK and as you can see uh, we had made something more different from the original piece based on the circle this is only a, a random piece for you to understand uh, some basic features of this software to truly understand how to make certain pieces we're gonna start working with the following drawings we continue guys in the next video